This episode's brought to you by Ray. I'm just kidding. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me. I'm Alex. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, what's up, Tex Triple Five? Long time no see. Yeah. How's it been going? I hope all has been well with you since, what, 2019? I hope 2020 wasn't too mean to you. It's good to see everyone. I hope that the weekend was okay for you guys. I guess I did stream on Saturday. So I, I guess I hope... I hope your Sunday was good. Yeah, I... I also hope that everyone had a good Sunday. Haha, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Yeah. So... I had an okay... Sunday, I guess. I just kind of relaxed. Now that we stream, you know, five... Sometimes six days a week. Your your friend Alex um, sometimes needs to kick back and relax, you know? Yeah, I bet streaming like one hour to, you know, sometimes two hours a day. I bet that's like really hard on your fingers. Yes. Yeah. You know, I have very fragile, you know, weak fingers. You guys have seen me play video games sometimes. Sometimes my fingers are are very weak. You know, sometimes my fingers are very strong. It just, <laughs> it's just the nobility of my fingers depends on the day. Hopefully. <laughs> Day will be a, a nimble finger sort of day, hopefully. Since it is basically like the Christmas season, almost, I got some Christmas games I haven't played yet. Cool. Yeah, Merry Christmas, almost. I think today I'm gonna play Elf, the movie, the video game for the Game Boy Advance. Elf was a movie from like the early 2000s starring Will Ferrell. It was a comedy movie and it was about a man who... I haven't seen the movie in a long time, so I'm just kind of guess remembering sort of it was like there's like a man and I think he accidentally ends up at the North Pole somehow and Santa turns him into an elf or like gives him a job as an elf and I think that because he's a man, a human man, and not an elf, uh, it's sort of like a, a fish out of water story or something. And then, like, some fine people went and made a video game out of it. And it being in a, a mid 2000s licensed movie video game, it could be really bad or it could be really good it might be mediocre I have no idea but you know one of the things I like to do on this little stream is take chances on video games sometimes that maybe no one's ever really given a chance could be the, I've pro I may have even played it before I don't know 
sometimes I play things on this show and forget about it. But I guess we'll find out. Let's get down to Biswax. I hope it's not too loud. Crave Entertainment. New Line Cinema, they're the folks that made Freddy Krueger and Shrek, I think, probably. Oh, this is going to be good. Look at these graphics. I mean, that's like pretty ultra realistic looking. So, music's not bad. I mean, that looks just like Will Ferrell. We might be in for a treat. I bet it's funny, too. Will Ferrell is known for his humorous words. You know, sometimes he says funny things. I guess we'll do this in Anglais. Let's do it. I don't have any codes. Will Ferrell talking to... I think that's the head elf. You look at him, he's so big. He's not the size of the other elves. Want as many candies as you can. Use gumdrops to jump higher. Watch out for icicles and falling bridges. Look out for polar bears. Ooh. on the polar bears. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Well, you never know. I guess we have to jump over it. Those holes are kind of inviting with the handies above them. are kind of barren, but in a way they're sort of realistic, you know. Not every place is full of bad guys and bats and stuff. Just kind of casually Well done now, let's move on. Leonard, write down that code. Did you get it? No? The cave is full of falling icicles. Watch out for them. Jump over the chasms to complete the level. Chasm. I guess they're like giving us a high score. Leonard, be sure to write down our high score at the end. Yes, sir. Come on. Former here. Not too hard. Way to go. Let's explore. 
lower further. Collect the letters needed to spell New York. Oh yeah, because in the movie he has to go to New York to like... Because that's where he's from? Oh, I think his real dad is there or something. Gumdrops are kind of fun. I wonder how much input Mr. Farrell had in on this video game. It hasn't really made me laugh yet. I mean, it's kind of funny, you know. That he's like bouncing on these gumdrops. Can't really. That's not realistic. I guess get like getting the letters. It's sort of like a symbolic thing, right? Representing the, the trials and tribulations that he goes through to, like, get to New York, you know? I sort of get it. Cool. Great. You have all the letters to move on. Great. Great. Now he's talking to Santa. They could have put some words here, maybe to give us a little exposition. Jump from one iceberg to another. Watch out for sinking icebergs. Hey, what's up, Cap'n? I mean, the stall baby. I'm just messing with you. How you doing? <laughs> it's a little joke. How are you doing, stall? Ah! Dude, I hope you're having a good night. I'm having a swell night, thank you. Just playing a little Elf the movie for the Game Boy Advance. Ah! It's kind of cool, I guess, that every level has been... The levels are sort of different. I had no idea till today, I don't think. I saw it in my collection, I was like, huh, oh, I haven't played that yet. I bet that would be fun for the show. And then here we are. I mean, it hasn't, like, been stupid yet. I've played a lot of movie games that are pretty bad. You know, it's... It kind of has approximated the movie so far. I'm not sure it'd be a good replacement for the movie, but, you know, maybe if you've just watched the movie, like, within the past week or so, this game would be like a, a good accompaniment to it, maybe. Where's the... Come back! Dude, come back! Where's... There was a pla- Oh, there it is. Wow. It sure does... I 
probably shouldn't. Okay. Is there a scene in the movie where he has to, like, parkour across floating ice blocks? While avoiding the polar bears that are marooned upon them? It's a little hard. Yeah, the... The hitboxes on these floating blocks are a little... Uh, finicky. Ah. Fortunately, those bears can only go back and forth, or else we'd be supper. Oh, my weekend was great. Thank you. I guess my weekend was mostly only Sunday. As far as taking a break from the show? Ah! Ah! But yesterday was quite relaxing. Um, did a lot of resting. I finished off all my corn dogs, which were good. learned about like this I had this candy that's like cola flavored it was pretty good and it had like it was like gum but not gum and it had like little bits of candy inside of it I forget what it was called but it was really good I want more of it I think it came from Japan. A friend of my producer's had it. Right? I agree, Tex Triple Five. Graphics in this game are like. really good, sort of. The, yeah, the jumping animations are fabulous. I wonder if they got Will Ferrell to come in to, like, wear one of those green suits with the balls all over it. Wow, this level sure is long. Not only is this level a test of your platform jumping, but it's also a test of your patience. You know? Endurance is what I mean. It's like an Is that... Congratulations! Great jumping! I did it. Slide up and as many objects as you can. Avoid any obstacles you encounter. Be is this like a different type of game now? Okay. Ah! Ow! Um... Why are the... Obstacles also candy? Ow! But the, the things you have to collect are also candy. It's very confusing. It's not very con consistent. This is actually slightly exhilarating a little bit, I guess. Three? Does that mean I have- what is it? Is that like lap? Do I have like- 
don't know what that means. Ow. That means. Dude. Too many falls. Try to stay on the ice sled. Do a better job this time, Alex. Doing my best. Alright. Leonard, be real quiet. Alright. Hey, Alex. Dude. What? Do a good job. I wonder how long this is gonna go on. There's still like a minute and 14 seconds on the clock. 42 seconds. This could go on all night. Monday was good. You know, traditionally, people don't like Mondays. I've always been kind of indifferent to them, because I'd say, you know, every other day of the week, statistically, it's probably been just as bad as Mondays every Monday, you know? Bad stuff could happen on any day. I bet, like, if they did, like... If they checked all throughout history, find that... Mondays aren't necessarily worse than any other day of the week. That's how I try to look at Mondays, you know? many objects as you can to earn points. Watch out for the raccoons and the mallards. I guess this is just another walking through the level Collecting all the things kind of thing. Thank you. 
guess that's just what I'll do is collect all of these things. It has sort of a uh, Lester the unlikely feel going to it, you know? Or like I guess a Prince of Persia kind of thing? Many people have tried the walking human-sized platformer deal sort of thing and it is not always a success. More often than not, it is not. Is that it? Good. Nice going. Way to go. Good job, Alex. Thanks, Leonard. Oh. I guess we're in NYC now. Cross over the road to pick up the 20 Christmas directions to regain energy. Go inside a revolving door. Frogger? How do I... Ah! Did I just... Ah! Where'd it go? Excuse me. Whatever. Well... Oh, we can run. Let's see a present. A uh, uh, present. I think I don't. I guess there's a scene in the movie where he has to hunt Christmas lights. What? What? Try again. You are out of energy. Um. Okay. There's... Alright, I better get it this time before it dis disappears. At least there's... Nothing to get us on the side box. I guess if as long as like running takes energy so just don't want to run run too much oh oh you can just walk through the bushes I thought those were obstacles scene from the movie where he doesn't ah quite understand revolving doors maybe at least the music kind of changes between levels too What? 
are they honking at? Is it my elf suit? Are they jealous? Maybe you should dress up as an elf for Christmas. Maybe. Maybe you should dress up as an elf for Christmas. I might. What about you, Seymour? No. How many of these things do we- oh, we got 16. Hey, what's up, Mrs. G? How are you doing? Hope you had a good weekend. I appreciate you joining us. Yep. I'm glad you got a break now, though. I am doing fantastic. Getting ready for the holiday season coming up. Getting in the mood by playing some holiday games. We gotta get the Christmas tree up here soon. Our plan is on the It's Me, I'm Alex Discord. We're gonna put up a channel. Wait, handle the metal correctly in the metal room, turn the tubes. What? Is this like that Grover game from. What now? What? Okay. Oh. Wait. I'm gonna use my noggin for this. This game just took a leap in difficulty. Um. Oh. Okay. All right. What I was saying is that we're gonna have people, if they want, submit ornaments for our Christmas tree. Hopefully I should be up by the end of this week. The people can submit ornaments all the way up until Christmas if they want. Okay. That's not so hard once you get the hang of it. Now you have moved from the mailroom, let's see how you handle the big egg bigger packages. Whoa. What? Five times zero? What? I don't see a zero. What? Maybe it's five? Four. Oh, four, two, Nine. It's like Simon. Okay. Two, seven, four. All right. Six. 
six, five, three. Those numbers at the top, I guess it's like floors? Five, six, four. Eight, five, four. I got this. Cool. Okay. Superb. The package has arrived. That was more than one package, but okay. Middle of the mill, correctly, and then return the tube. This again? Okay. This one's a little bit more complex. I hope so, Mrs. G. tough. Um, here we go. All the way to red. Excellent work. Let's move on to the bigger packages. Whoa. Stop that, Seymour. Now you have moving them over, let's see how you deliver the right okay. Three, four, four, two, eight. Got it. Six, five, two, one. Bam. Seven, twelve, thirteen. Dang it. Okay. Stop that. Gosh, how many numbers? Oh wait, this is a numbers one. Ugh. I sure do feel immersed in the elf movie universe right now. I'll tell you what. Say I'll tell you what, Leonard. No. Do it. Okay. I'll tell you what. It's okay. Aw, oh, thank you, Brown Pants Gaming, for that. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. You're a real pal and a scholar. 
It is going great. Yep. Thank you, brown pants. How are you doing? You doing all right? That's good. Fantastic to hear. Five, one, three, nine, This is a lot of numbers now. said I did a good job. Make sure that you are not hit and that you do not hit Santa. What? Who are those guys? Why are they? Is this a fun snow? Why is... Santa in New York, and why are the elves trying to kill me with snowballs? Are we gonna do this for like two and a half more minutes? Do we just have to sur survive for that long? Can we just run away? If this was me, I would just run. I mean, we are like in what appears to be Central Park. Why are we obligated to take part in this snowball fight? Got fourteen. I didn't. I don't remember it saying we had to get a certain amount. Seven, 
28. Almost there. 29. Get one more. Time. We need more points. Duck better next time? What? Dude, I... Okay. We were one short of 30. I guess we gotta get like... 30? There's not even a steady stream of these guys. Like... I guess we have to get... Dude, I mean, if it's like a screen and there's no... Wait, now there's two Santa Clauses. That's not even possible. That's... just go around to the other side of the bridge and just I'm only at 14 I guess you better get to plan I guess you better get to plan dude I can't get the if there aren't dudes to hit. Oh my god. I mean, you guys see that I am doing my very best and it's not even... Best as I can. Come on, dude. God,
Come on. 21, 22. 23, 24. Okay. I think we got this. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. Come on. 30. 30. What is it? 50? 40? A hundred? If it's not 50, I'm going to be like a little annoyed and slightly upset. Five. We got like 23 seconds left. Dude. You have to be like an actual sharpshooter or something. Two more. Come on. Okay. Why isn't it ending? Wipe. Oh my god. I swear if it made me do it, it could collect the presents falling off Santa's sled liver by matching the wrapper and paper color the bow's color with the door. What? is also blue with a green door. That's... I guess that's light blue? Why is... No. Why does... Okay, I know for a fact that house takes two different color presents. And I don't appreciate the inconsistency. If there's anything that I don't appreciate the most, it's inconsistent. Let's see. Question, why is Santa dropping so many presents? Is he doing this on purpose? Is a mode of delivery? Doesn't he typically enter the 
the chimneys. I'm just throwing them in the yard, which doesn't seem... He has a clut saying he brown pants. Like, I'm just chucking them into the yard like a FedEx delivery guy. Maybe it's a statement about how sometimes delivery people aren't very careful with the delivery of the packages. This better be enough. Way to go. I have to, because I feel like I didn't deliver all of them. Look. I don't have any context for this scene, and I don't remember it. Help Santa find his sleigh and the parts... What, did he crash? Watch out for the park rangers. What? Dude, I think Santa's on that stuff again. Y'all remember when Tim Allen was playing Santa? And he was doing all that... Yay? I think we got another situation like that going on. How do you know what yay is? I saw it on TV. It's okay, y'all. You saw it on TV. Yeah. to get S? What is S? I think it's A. Looks more like an S to me. Yeah. Better find all of Santa's nuts. What? You gotta find all of of Santa's nuts. Santa has eight nuts. Yep. You gotta have a lot of balls to, um, you know, do what Santa does. That's a pretty good joke, Leonard. Thanks. You got five out of eight. Santa Nuts. Maybe that's what the S stands for. Santa Nuts. Maybe. Right? Put him in his big sack. Yeah. Sack. Neat. You know what my favorite Christmas movie is? Unironically, Ernest Saves Christmas. I love the Ernest. I love some of the Ernest movies. And Ernest Saves Christmas is a very good one. I think if I had to pick. My least favorite Ernest movie. Um, Ernest, didn't he play basketball? Increase the Christmas spirit by collecting the balls from the park? We gotta collect Santa's ball bells. I was like, God. What? Where is Elf Man? How many? 
Alright, so we're collecting the bells for the Christmas spirit. This game has like a lot of symbolic stuff, you know. you gotta use your imagination with and stuff. I like using my imagination, I guess. It's not exactly clear how to get this sled off the ground. Compressing the buttons. It just kinda goes up when it wants to. Wait. Not fast enough. Santa needs more spirit. Spirit? Increase the spirit by collecting bells. Okay. Christmas and a happy new year. Is that... is that it? Everybody has the spirit. The sleigh is... Did he? Wait, I thought Santa Claus saved Christmas. I should say Buddy the Elf and... Well, I don't know. Santa kind of almost ruined Christmas. When he was dropping all those presents and stuff. And he crashed the sleigh. Yeah. Well. That was completable. You know? Sometimes I start a game on this stream and then, like, I don't even finish it because, you know. I don't feel like I can do it, but we did that time, so I guess add another one to the list or something if anyone's keeping track. Pretty cool. Aw, oh, dang it! Well, way to poop on the Christmas spirit horn. That silly sound means that it's time to go for the night, probably. But we will be back tomorrow night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Brown Pants, for your subscription. And thank you all for your watching tonight. I hope y'all have a good remainder of your night and a good day tomorrow. If for some reason I'm streaming before tomorrow at 10 o'clock, you know, like if we do a bonus stream or something, I'll let y'all know on the Discord. But we're gonna go for now. And I am very thankful for you guys watching. Aw, oh, I love you too, Text Triple Five. Good to see ya. Farewell to you also. Alright, y'all. Well, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget. Goodbye.